demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren confiscate the demonic Annabelle doll from nurses Debbie and Camilla. During the drive back home, the doll summons spirits to attack Ed. Annabelle is locked in a sacred glass case in the couple's artifacts room to ensure the evil is contained. Sometime later, the Warrens welcome Mary Ellen, who will be in charge of babysitting their daughter, Judy, while they travel overnight to investigate another case. At school, Judy notices a ghostly priest following her. Mary Ellen's friend, Daniela, arrives uninvited to the Warrens' home. She sneaks into the artifact's room and inadvertently releases the spirit of Annabelle B. Mullins. Annabelle releases other spirits, such as the Ferryman, the Bride, a Feely Mealy board game, and the Black Shuck, and the terror begins. Mary Ellen's crush, Bob Palmieri, arrives but is attacked by the Black Shuck. Judy and Mary Ellen are confronted by other spirits. Daniela sneaks back into the house to return the artifact's room's keys. She gets locked inside and is tormented by the haunted objects. She is found in time by Judy and Mary Ellen. Judy explains that they must lock Annabelle back in her case so the other spirits will rest. Bob protects Judy from the Black Shuck as she retrieves Mary Ellen's asthma inhaler, while Daniela is possessed by the bride. Mary Ellen and Judy find the doll when the ghostly priest, acting as Judy's guardian, guides them to the ferryman. They retrieve the case's key, but struggle when the demon of the doll attacks them. Daniela recovers when Judy plays Ed's recorded footage of the bride's exorcism. After the doll is put back in the case and locked, the disturbances cease. Ed and Lorraine return the next morning. At Judy's birthday party, Daniela apologizes to Lorraine who gives her a comforting message from her father.